Welcome back, everybody. This is Let's Play Legend of Gaia Episode 7. I am Looney, and we just, uh, we're continuing to explore Drake Castle. Um, on a bookshelf is another book. Sure, we'll read about geography. Drake Kingdom lies in the remote part of South Lagaya, on the peninsula of mountains and valleys. Under the rule of King Drake, there is a safety there is safety and abundant resources. Visitors to Drake Castle should visit Mount Rikuroa. Go through Drake Castle and head north to find Mount Rikuroa. At its summit stands the Genesis Tree, which is said to watch over humans since the age of the gods. Hmm, I wonder if we'll have to go there. Uh, no! I want to read again. Okay. In here is another battle. And that was just a pair of Gimards, and Vaughn leveled up. So he's now level 5. Um, I think I missed a hidden item, which sucks. Star key. But it's definitely not in here. And that was just a battle with another Drake Ghost, um, but Gimard actually leveled up, because I used it again, so Gimard's now level 2. And now I'm on a quest to figure out where that hidden item was. I don't think it's past here, but I will continue forward to see if it's really up here. Um, no, it is It is not up here. Okay, that was just a Gimard and a Drake Ghost. And I think then, since... There it is. I thought <laughs> I was searching. I was like, where the hell is this thing? There, there is a magic leaf in the corner of this room. Uh, you already know what magic leaves do. As I was saying, uh, you already know what magic leaves do. But they are expensive, so it's cool to pick them up. Um, that was just another Drake Ghost, and we used Gimard on him again. So now we have no more mana to use Gimard. And that was a tag team. And, uh, well, there's a healing leaf in the chest, but that was a tag team between a Gamard and a Drake Ghost, and they rocked me, but I'm hoping I might be able to get to the other room before. Yes, this is the safe room I was telling you about. Vaughn, the door to this room is quite strong. If you shut the door tightly, you should be able to rest peacefully in here. Do you want to rest? Yes, I definitely do. A wise decision. While you are sleeping, I will stand guard. Vaughn, I apologize for interrupting your dream. There is something I must tell you about the Seru and my powers. That's right, the Seru. They are horrible creatures, but the Seru themselves are not at fault. The Mist is responsible for all of this. I have special powers to use against the Seru. I can assimilate with the Seru that the Mist has made mad. The special powers with the Seru will combine with my own, making me a powerful weapon. As such, like I explained with the Gamard, you can only absorb the Serus that have the little icons next to their name. And they take MP to cast, so there's that. And our HP and MP are better. Oh, thank you, Meta. And there's a fire book in the chest. What does a fire book do? Well, it uses, uh, you use it on your characters to learn moves, so Vaughn now knows Tornado Flame. You'll get tired of him saying that. Another bookshelf. On a bookshelf is research notes. Do you wish to read it? Yes. The reports were correct as I feared. Any human wearing a Seru ceases to be human in the mist, but because of some power, a person possessed by a crazed Seru also ceases to age. 
That means a person wa wearing a saru could live for a hundred a thousand years, nay, forever. But is immortality worth giving up being human? That I do not know. I must report this to King Drake at once. Uh, yeah, if it turns you into a zombie, it's probably not, not much worth it. Um, and this is a good room to actually level up a bit. Not not so much you, but your spells too, because there's a uh, that room there that you can rest at. We will take the mountain key and then check out what's in this chest here. Oh, it's not really a treasure, it's a note. Sure. I am Drake the Third, King of Drake. I know not who will read this letter, but anyone who makes it through the mist must have powers greater than the mist. No doubt you have seen the Seru monsters in this castle's dungeons. Those monsters are in fact my dear retainers and the people of my kingdom. When the mist approached, we tried many ways to drive it back. We even prayed at the Genesis tree at Mount Rikaroa to the north. Legend says the tree has the power to save the human race. In the end, we decided to lock ourselves in the dungeon and wear Seru, surrendering to the mist. As Seru monsters, we should survive on Drake water until the day the mist goes away. We locked ourselves in the dungeon so the Seru madness would not force us to harm anyone. The Traveler, I ask you that you drive away the mist as we are powerless to do so. You are our only hope for the future, the hope that sustains us. Wow, that's a mouthful, King Drake. But, I understand. Vaughn, I have a feeling the Seru is King Drake. Look, there is a small key around its neck. It must be the key to the water gate. Awesome, I'm not really sure why I need the water key yet, or the water gate, but that should probably come in handy. And that was a Drake Ghost and a Skeleton, and I used Gamard again, and he leveled up again, so now he's level 3, so Gamard's getting pretty powerful already. Um, without even having to do much. Like I said, you can actually... Well, I don't know for sure, so I'm gonna... Do you want to rest? Uh, sure. You can actually keep coming in here over and over again to rest, which makes, like I said, this a very good place to level up not only your character, but your spells too, so... I'm gonna run around in circles here and level up Gamard a little bit. Um, probably only about 15 minutes or so, but, uh, we'll come back in just a second. Okay, and I'm back now. Um, I was quite, quite busy, but actually I only fought maybe, uh, six battles. But as you can see, you can come right back in and rest. Um, and in the process of doing so... I Vaughn leveled up, so he went to level 6, and Gamard actually leveled up to level 5. And not only does he do a burning attack to the enemy now, he um, reduces their attack power by 10%. It starts at nothing, and then once it gets to level 3, it goes to 5%, and then once it gets to 5, it goes to 10%. So that'll help us out on the boss. Um, but that'll do it for this episode. I'm going to save my game here because I haven't in quite a while. Uh, but tune in. Thanks for watching. This was part 7. Tune in for part 8 when we get out of this uh, dungeon. And head up to Mount Rikuroa to awaken the Genesis tree. Thanks for watching. Bye.